Yeah. Like that though, I'm not saying it right. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm gonna get it. Yeah. Because I'm gonna get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. I don't want it. Yeah. Is it Eliana? Damn. Whatever you. Yeah. No. No. We're just gonna call you random name. Yeah. 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 All right. Um. Let's go. What's going on, folks? Welcome to the Lemonade Podcast. I'm your host, Frank, along with Matt and Mike. Here at the Lemonade Podcast, we go by the same when life gives you lemons, we make lemonade and we pour it onto the world. And with that, we hope to encourage, inspire, and empower not only those of you tuning in, but our guests themselves. And today's guest is Lilian. Yes. Hi. Hello. How are you? Um, a little bit nervous, but a little nervous? excited to be here. Sorry, this Thank mic you. is a little fuzzy. Thank uh, you for having us. No, no, no. Um, I'm I'm excited for this one. Um, I reached out not too long ago. You were down. I know you're super busy, <laughs> so um, I, I appreciate you making the time for us here at the Limited yeah. Podcast. Um, now, real quick, where are you from? Chula Vista. Chula Vista. Yeah. Okay. Born, born and raised? No, born in Los Angeles. Lived Ooh. there a couple of years, and okay. then moved to San Diego when I was like three or four. Okay. So what part of LA? I don't even you remember. I, you don't. It's like El Monte or La Puente. Okay. One of there. those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really gotcha. remember much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been, I used to live there a long oh, time yeah? ago. Yeah, yeah, I was raised there. Then I moved out here. In what part? San Fernando Valley. Oh, okay. So shout out to the 818. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anybody really watches this in the 818. My sisters do. So there you go. Right, but yeah, yeah, all over how through Panorama City, Chatsworth, freaking uh, Northridge, mm. you know, all that. But that was a long time ago. That's how old I am. No. Um, but that that place has been is nicer now. So, mm. anywho, you, so you were out here in Chula Vista since you were what four? Yeah, about four. Okay. Like I started kindergarten here, and then just kind of. And just from then on, you grew up here. Yes. Do you still have family out there in LA? Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Uh, um, yeah. So they're kind of spread out, like Mexico, Los Angeles, and it's just like two of two of us in mm. San Diego. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's dope. All right. Yeah. Is, is your folks out here? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they, they're the ones who moved out here. Anybody yes. else move out here? Or just uh, my dad's brother. Okay. Your uncle yeah. and stuff. And yeah. like in the beginning, we're like, why? We're so lonely. And now I'm like, thank mm. you. Thank you for moving out here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's dope to have uh, one family here, but also family in other places because yeah. you get to visit. Um, and you don't have to worry too much about pit lodging yeah. and pit stops. Yeah, 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 pit stops for sure. You know, on your way out and stuff. So, uh-huh. um, so real quick, tell me what um, what is it that you do? So we we just play with fire. <laughs> play with fire. Right. Yeah. Go. No. Um, <laughs> so, uh, like a little backstory about Burns mm-hmm. Wood. My brother started this in 2019. Okay. But he well, he was building like big stuff like his bed like he mm-hmm. built his own bed oh he, damn yeah he built um his dog the german shepherd's house oh, okay like yeah. super nice and then um so he was an electrical engineer mm-hmm. and he was like i just kind of want to do something on the side so he he was like doing woodworking yeah um for like his friends and stuff like that and then uh 2020 he passed away okay in a car accident mm. and then some time passed and then my dad asked me can like you get me a a wood burning Mm -hmm. like tool Mm -hmm. because he's he's like the one who started this okay he like works with wood all the time and so he has this dining table that he made and he wanted to like um burn some letters on it Mm -hmm. so i was like yeah let me get it for you i got it and i just was like testing it out and i was like it actually burns like so nice yeah no i just kind of kept it Mm -hmm. (laughs) and then um well i i've always done art like Mm -hmm. myself and but his his like business was just there Mm -hmm. and i was like let me take prince wood and like continue it okay so it doesn't just it's not just stagnant so i just wanted to like keep going with it. yeah so he's still like in my eyes and like He's living on through this. Your you know? brother, right, mm-hmm. right, right. And what was his name? Bernardo. Bernardo, okay. Burns. Gotcha. With the Burns. Burns. Yeah, yeah, Burns. Well, yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's dope. Okay. Yeah. Um, how long had, had he been doing the, I mean, what, the, burn, burning of the wood? <laughs> no, so the burning, I, it was just started in 2020, like ending okay. of 2020. Okay. So he would just do, like, uh, woodworking. I think. Gotcha. Well, 
Yeah, 2019 is when it's like officially he started. It. Okay. But I mean, we've been playing with wood ever since we were kids. Like oh. my dad. Well, because your pops. Yeah. yeah. He's like the branches, and we're like he's like cutting the trees, right. and we're like moving the branches yeah. with our huge gloves, you know. Just, yeah. So I think it's always been around us, like working with wood. Yeah. Um, okay. Something yeah, your dad handed. Did. Was your dad the only one working? Was there a family thing as far as oh, like, like working with wood? Business? Well, I mean, not necessarily even that, but it's something like I always like to sometimes talk about legacy, right? And yeah. Then what we hand down to you know our mm-hmm. not only kids but our families, right? And obviously, like something with what you're doing now, mm-hmm. you're doing what you're doing now, from your brother, from your father. Yeah. I mean, I'm, you know, was there something that was before that, or was it just your pops, like yo? Working I mean, with wood. my grandfather, my dad's dad, mm-hmm. is always, oh, well, actually from both sides of the family. My my dad's dad is, a, like, del rancho, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So it's, like, building their own homes. So I think that was already natural yeah, to them. Yeah, part of that, for sure. Like, come, like, little kids. Like, yeah, I mean, you, you, you're you uh, you're raised around it. Uh-huh. It's part of your, you know, your, um, your daily life. And mm-hmm. so, hey, this is what we do. Yeah, right. so when you say, like, start, I'm like, I don't know when it started. So no, I think, cool. yeah, my dad just figured his way out, like, building stuff. He he told us, like, when he came to the U.S., mm-hmm. like, like oh, the restroom got fucked up. Like, how mm-hmm. am I going to fix it? He has to, like, just learn. So right. just kind of learned everything on kind of his own and with his brothers. Like, yeah, yeah. he has yeah, a lot of brothers and sisters. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah so I mean, it's it's a whole thing. I was like, when you don't have a choice, you just make yeah. it happen. Yeah. yeah. I know a lot about that, yeah. Yeah, so I think For it sure. just kind of, like, it came naturally to us. Yeah. yeah. And so then, you know, you're, with your pops kind of just handing this down as well as just the woodwork itself, you know, your your brother, um, mm-hmm. he took up on it, did his own thing, you know, started building uh, his bed, you know, himself. Yeah, his- uh, <laughs> was there something that he really enjoyed? Um, my brother? Yeah, as far as, like, it was this one thing, he's like, this is what I really like oh, doing. He, he was so smart. Okay. Uh, electronics. He okay. was an electrical engineer, so he would make, like, little robots mm. out of nowhere. And he's like, he would build, like, a light stuff, and he's like, clap, and it would, like, turn on. And he's like, mm. clap twice, and it would change colors, and I'm over here like, oh, cool. You just designed all that. Yeah, you're yeah. like, yeah. How does that work? So right. It's okay, you don't get it. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> Man, that's that, yeah, that's dope. So I mean, yeah, for sure. Uh so he didn't end up doing any of the actual wood burning? No. None of that. But that's something you picked up because, of, once again, your pops was yeah. like, hey, get me this machine. Yeah. Uh, did, uh-huh. So he ended, did your dad end up doing those letters or did you end up? Okay, you did. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of was like, it's mine. Man. You know? And he saw that I, I really liked it, so he never asked for it again. Mm. He hasn't really asked for it. He's just like, can you do this? And I'm like, sure. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm, hey. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I mean, you know, if he, he sees it, you know, I, I'm a big fan. I really love what you okay. do. Yeah. It looks amazing. Um, I really dig this piece. Maybe it's because it's spooky looking, but yeah, I, that's another vibe. <laughs> but the details and how how um how did you get into? You went from doing those letters, I'm guessing, and then onto doing oh, all these other things. So I think with the art stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, ever since I could remember, like, my first memory that of, like, oh, like, art mm-hmm. was, I, like, remember I was, like, three years old mm-hmm. in Los Angeles in the kitchen. And I was coloring for my preschool, uh, like, homework. Mm-hmm. And I was doing it, like, really rough with a crayon. And then one of my uncles came and he's like, do you know you can blend it? Mm-hmm. And he grabbed, a, a like, a napkin and he started, like, blending. Oh, wow. And I was like, yeah, those t- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then ever since then, I've just kind of been doing everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, did you end up going to school for that, or did? You... So at the beginning, no, I went for nursing. Okay. Because I was told like you couldn't do anything with art. Okay. So I was like, damn. You can't do anything with art, <laughs> but art. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, and then I think it was like when it was like I I dropped the whole nursing stuff, mm-hmm. and then. I started taking classes mm-hmm. uh, at City, and yeah, I took some classes and like it's helped a lot. I'm still taking classes. Okay. I mean, always a student. Yeah, I feel yeah. like. No, for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's. I think with art, and um, it's so funny you said that the whole nursing thing. It's mm. like a practice. Yeah. You know, you don't you don't ever you're really stop. You. Yeah, you're 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 always growing. You're always evolving. Mm-hmm. You know, as a human being, for one. But once you take up on something, I think you know we were having this conversation earlier about. 
you know, with photography, I'm like, yo, mm-hmm. once I started, and I don't see me ever stopping, I always venture to different, you know, uh, uh, you know, lanes when it comes to photography, mm-hmm. you know, expression and whatnot. But you continue to always, at least for me, I've always continued to evolve because of my curiosity. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I wonder if I can do it this way. Or I see what they're doing. I think I could do it different, you know. So you give it a shot. Mm-hmm. You know? And I think that's important. Um, especially because it's something that for you, you're really good at it. Thank you. Uh, but you found, you found a purpose behind it, yeah. you know, to continue your brother's, your brother's legacy, Yeah. you know, nice. to, to, I know when, when I reached out, you were like, we, this, we, that. And I was like, <laughs> when you say we, how many people, you know, I'm curious and I hope, you know, no offense. No. And, and, but then you explain like, I know it's a little confusing, but it's because I, I want to you know, continue to keep my brother in, in this within Mm -hmm. all that you do. And is that, why is that? Well, well, first it's like his stuff. I'm Mm -hmm. just kind of moving things around. I've always find myself like I'm the one behind the scenes, Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So, so it's, it's still taking, it's a little bit difficult to explain Mm -hmm. without going in depth. Mm -hmm. Um, I think your nephew was one of the first ones that kind of like put it in my head. Because he was following us, Mm -hmm. like, Burns would, and that we were following his, like, Instagram. Mm -hmm. But we never saw, like, the behind. Who's behind it? Mm -hmm. And he came up, and and he started asking. I was like, oh, we do this. It's like, how many people Mm -hmm. are there? And I'm like, oh, I do this without, like, thinking. And he's like, wait, but you're saying we? And I'm like, oh. Well, it's yeah. like, you know, then it's also, you know, uh-huh. what, how you identify. I, yeah. You know, but well, right, right. there's that. But still, you know, we're all curious. Yeah. You know. So I say we because it's it's not just me. Like, it's my brother. Mm-hmm. Like, in my head, he's still here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's weird. Um, so I'm like, dude, like, I don't know. We're, like, making something. I'm like, oh, this looks cool. And I can hear him, like, uh, like work on it a little bit more. And I'm like, okay. Oh, well, or, yeah. It's, it's like your Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, for lack <laughs> yes. of a better term. No, but that, that's great that you, you can, yeah. you can still channel him through this, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm sure that he is very proud, you know, to see your work and your evolution, you know, and mm-hmm. especially, I mean, such a short amount of time, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and to take it to, to the lengths, you know, where you've taken it, um, have, did you ever see yourself? Woodbury? Uh, I want to say you did. Uh, this is my, my opinion. Uh-huh. But it was like, did you ever see, see yourself taking it to where you've taken it? Because mm-hmm. art has always been within. Yeah. You know so I mean? never thought of wood burning or working with wood. Okay. I always thought it was like, oh, it was just like in my head. I'm like, oh, I want to like be an artist and like showcase my work in mm-hmm. places, tattoos. Like I want to really like go into that but never wood burning. And I think it's also, it wasn't just myself. It was mm-hmm. like the community too. When I, it was like, uh, La Bodega. Do you oh, yeah. Remember? Yeah. Uh, n- maybe. Where it's is it? It's in Barrio Logan. It's not there anymore. Okay. Uh, Sony, yeah. it was like Sony, the artist. She mm-hmm. was the one, uh, organizing it. And I just, I just put like, I think it was the first piece of a bear. Right. Because Bernardo, it says, like, it means, like, bear. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Nice. So I was like, okay, let me put this out. And people just started, like, gravitating towards it. So I was like, okay, like, yeah. there's something here. No, for sure. Maybe I should yeah. keep going. Yeah. yeah. And then your brother's speaking through you, like, hey, keep going. Keep yeah. Going. Hey, there's something here. Make me look good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm trying. Yeah. yeah. Has there been any um, pressure from family? As far as like what you do and perhaps like, hey, how long, are you, how long is this going to last for? Yeah, for yeah you? I think so. Yeah. Um, again, like looking back to people saying like, you can't make a living out of art, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm like, I'm really trying to prove them, <laughs> like to prove them wrong. Yeah. Like you can. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's very difficult. Well, it's been for me, but mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm, I don't want to give up like yeah, you know, like still going. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a it's a bit of a process, and I mean, you're yeah. how long have you been doing this again? The wood burning, um, since twenty twenty. Okay, so I three asked, three like, years. Uh huh. You know, and if it's I so if I beginning. told you, hey, in five years, that's when you're gonna hit that sweet spot, mm-hmm. you'd be like, okay, but I, obviously, I don't know. It could mm-hmm. be tomorrow. 
you know, in but 10 the years. F- it could be <laughs> in like 10 I'm years, but you know what I mean? We, we've every, you know, other people spend so much time doing other things for even longer mm-hmm. and they're still maybe unhappy, yeah. you know, uh, but you're following a passion and, and a purpose, mm-hmm. you know, not only to e- your father's legacy lives yes. through this, uh-huh. your brother's for sure. And now you've also continued to like take that torch literally yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. and burn the, wood burn the wood and make something out of it and and all of that i think we had we had this conversation before about um you know telling the story from your father to your brother and how did you you know the story is still continuing to be told through wood mm-hmm. you know however your father used it however your brothers use it and now your use of it mm-hmm. you know and that's really really dope you know especially because of the fact that you know, you're trying to prove people wrong. Maybe there's a chip on your shoulder. You know, I don't know. But I think also it's it's like, hey, not maybe necessarily prove people wrong, but you're trying to prove yourself right. And I don't know if that yeah. makes any sense. Matt, does that make any sense to you? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I think because you want to make sure that this, this works out for you. Yeah. Not that, hey... I, not to spite them, not to no, not like not much. It's just like yeah, I did it. Now right? What? No, it's like I did it. Look, like look at we did it. You know? Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Um, who uh, who are your subjects? These guys. Yeah. Are they are they real people or are they? Are yeah. You- so we try to like do like kind of series of it. So we just do like what we love, and I kind of I I continue to say we because in my head I'm like. Yep. You're Do in your you, book? like, process? Like, like, you approve? Cool. Mm. Um, so it's, like, insects. We do a lot of, like, insects and kind of research them a bit. Mm. Um, like, pretty cool. And, yeah. like, to put facts on them. And then icons. This one's, like, Nacho Libre. Yeah, Nacho. Yeah, Nacho. We'll, we'll show it. So. Yeah, she's a tattoo artist. A Filipino tattoo artist. Yeah. She's, like, one, 106, I believe. Years old and still tattooing. Still doing it. So, so, like so it might take you a little longer. It, hey, you got time. I know. She's at 106, still doing yeah, it. I know. <laughs> she might still be trying to find her way. Mm-hmm. No, I'm kidding. No, yeah. Hopefully not. No. Yeah. What about this person? Uh, that's Bailey. Bailey Sarian. Uh, it's like she does, uh, like Halloween. No, not Halloween. Like murder mystery mm-hmm. related. So when we're like working on burning. I just put podcasts on your guys' mm-hmm. like Lemonade. Yeah, the Lemonade like, podcast. You know what I'm saying? Podcast. Hey, here we go. <laughs> and The um, one listener. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, so it's like stuff that we look up to or that we like. Like we make boxes because like we, we love mm-hmm. to do that. My dad has like a specific box that he made that I just fell in love with when, mm. when I was little. No, oh, and wow. now, yeah, now I'm like, I can make some boxes too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so okay. it's just like stuff that we love and like the necklace you know just like things that we love yeah, just sure. kind of put it out there yeah. where where do you guys get your um where do you get the wood from and like have you do you have like a favorite type of wood that you prefer to work with yeah so we're still kind of looking where to get our wood but like for my dad my dad and my uncles kind of you know they work around trees and stuff so they're like look I, we got this like cork or olive and stuff like that so we we get it from them we get it from this brand also called Walnut Hollow. Okay. And uh, San Diego Urban Timber. We got this, the olive from them. Hmm. Yeah. Nice. And the one that we like to work with is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it, basswood or basswood. It's like, you bass. can do, I don't know. Bass? No, I have B-A-S-S. No bass. bass. I say bass. Basswood? So, basswood sounds right. I'm not a, I'm not a wood aficionado. <laughs> no. I, just, I used to work on boats, so I know, you know, they use different types of wood for different components uh-huh. in, like, a wooden boat, because, uh-huh. you know, different types of wood has different properties and yeah. densities and whatnot, so I didn't know if maybe in using different types, experimenting with your art with different types of wood, mm-hmm. if you'd found the uh, different wood that you preferred to work with, or if there's different types of wood that react uh, maybe okay. differently yeah. to the burning process. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like this uh, birch plywood, I don't like it much for burning like portraits yeah because it it does burn kind of patchy mm. um so that's why i like the the basswood because it's like super soft with the shadows and stuff yeah, yeah. looks really good yeah. yeah no my favorite wood is uh purple heart oh but it's expensive and it's like a really dense hardwood uh-huh. um, but it has a really nice color to it it's like a deep purple mm-hmm. it's pretty cool yeah. is this your least favorite wood then you would say 
Or do you have one where you're like, oh, this is crap. I hate this wood. No, Why I think do I, I love have them that? all. <laughs> I love them all, but I think my favorite right now mm-hmm. is the olive. The olive wood. Yeah. Like, as I was cutting it, it literally smelled like olive mm. oil. I, oh, wow. <laughs> That's dope. I, uh, <laughs> I love the smell of fresh cut wood yes. like going into a you know what do you call it a wood shop like you lumber yard that? or something uh-huh. yeah that. like when you walk by a construction site mm-hmm. and they're in the and framing process it. and it's just all wood mm-hmm. oh and you're just like yeah mm, same that's it's beautiful yeah you know, i love it the yeah. camphor that smells like kind of like mint kind of like a strong mm. mint yeah i'm just gonna start burning wood bro. yeah different Try ones. It. just burn your house well, we got bro. The pl- <laughs> <laughs> i don't know might take a while and it won't smell as great. Plus the plants, bro. No, Come on. It has paint and chemicals. Yeah. It's it smells different. Well, I mean you're the plug now. You know where to get the wood. Just start you know, burning. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, start burning wood everywhere. Yeah. You know, so um is there uh any one that's your favorite or like a certain I know you said you like the bugs. Mm-hmm. You know. Um cause, is that because of the facts or because of you know, it's something that you're a fan of, the bugs themselves? Yeah, like to to to, y- to burn on the yeah, yeah. Um, I I like like I think I like like I like more like portraits mm-hmm. and nature related stuff. Okay. So animals and any type of animals like sea animals, Ooh. um, mushrooms. I okay. really like to burn mushrooms. And Literally? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, <laughs> just on wood. I gotcha. Yeah. And the insects, yeah. Yeah, we go by, like, series of stuff. Okay, that's So, right. yeah. like, there was this um, big piece of wood. It was the basswood. And it was my 27th birthday. Oh, and nice. I wanted to commemorate that year. Mm. So I did the 27th club, which was pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, like, it just goes by whatever we're kind of feeling. We have, like, the Halloween series, too. Oh, dope. So she was, like, part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Have these mm-hmm. people? I mean, I don't. I I don't know. I mean, I was gonna say, have these people reached out? I, obviously, this is you know movie, I know. and I, hope I so. don't think so. But like, have some people reached out that you've done, or have you always just done like celebrities or, you know, high profile people? I don't know how to mm-hmm. put it. No, we do a lot of different uh, mm-hmm. ones. We do a, like we get asked a lot of memorials. Oh yeah, yeah, and those yeah. are like, I I like them, but it's like. It's like a little bit of pressure because you have to get it exactly mm-hmm. the same or as close as I can get because it's like some yeah. people are like this is the last picture I have of my loved one You're like, and I'm like yeah, you okay take, yeah all right challenge <laughs> and yeah yeah yeah, no, yeah it's on your Instagram uh, yeah. the the picture of your brother mm-hmm. right and you, that you did mm-hmm. and stuff like that um, is it is it weird to I mean, maybe weird is not the right word but maybe it's surreal to see him. On on what you do on burn wood, what at times. Mean? Well, you know when you, I know you have the picture, but you see him like, hey, this is your not this is your brother, but when you have your brother on this wood and it's burned, and you're like, yo, mm. this is us here, like we made this. That's how I would feel, but yeah. I also feel a lot. Matt knows. I don't know. I don't know if it's surreal. It's definitely Maybe something new mm-hmm. that I have to like process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like to me, I'm like, he's traveling somewhere in my head to not make it anything. I'm like, he's traveling somewhere. And I'm like, just like, I can hear him like, oh, that's legit. Like he would say that a lot. Yeah. Like, that's legit. That's legit. I'm like, yeah. okay, cool. I got it. No, yeah. let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I love, I love everything you do. I'm not going to lie. Well, at least from what I've seen. You know what I mean? How many pieces have, oh, do you know no. that have you made? No, I don't. Approximately. No. No idea. You just don't keep it. That's cool. No. How, so yeah. how long does it take for like a, a, for like a standard portrait like that? How much time do you have to spend on it? Mm. Uh, of just the burning, I think I, I always just say about four hours. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really. I haven't timed myself to see how long. I just kind of, I'm like I'm going to time myself. Yeah. Like I forget. Mm-hmm. Um, like I just go into it. But I say about four hours. I think yeah, cause. Like, for some of the wood, I have to cut it up, sand it. If it's not sand, you get a different, um, like, a different burn, too. Ooh, okay. Yeah. It has to be, like, like 40, 400 grit, I think, or more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, super soft. And then you can start yeah, burning. Yeah, damn. 
Mm-hmm. It's a whole process. I mean, yeah, and you learn. I mean, like you have your dad that mm-hmm. I'm sure is, he here's here. This is how you do it. This yeah, is tips. what's gonna work for that uh-huh. tips and stuff. That's dope. I mean, it, once again, it's it's something that you're. I'm I'm pretty sure your dad's like. Okay, she's at least she's doing that. Uh, she's she's into wood, like yeah. you know, like we are, you know, all this stuff. Which I think is dope. I think your dad. I don't know what does your dad think about. Um, I haven't asked him, but I think okay. I think, I like he sees it and they just go like, no. Nah. Oh. And I'm like, okay, that's good. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, no, for okay. sure. I mean, if they're not really expressive about it, but yeah, you know, to be able to like, see, oh, you cool. know, someone do something like this, especially their own man, I'm always surprised. Not mm-hmm. surprised, but like really just. You know, um, taking it back at times when I see the pe- people that I know who've created things, and I'm just like, holy crap! Like that's fucking dope. Mm-hmm. You know, so I love it. It's to have family to, to that can do something like this. Yeah, yeah, they're all super creative. Like, oh, my family is very creative. They mm-hmm. have like uncles that carve wood mm-hmm. just like for a spare time or just yeah. like for a hobby. My mom just like sewing and stuff. So there's everyone has their it's like craft. Little thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It's always a trade. Yeah. And then it's fun. And it's, it's, it's again, it's kind of like what's handed down, you know, mm-hmm. to these generations. And everyone, at least from what I know right now, is that everyone's taking a little piece of that and make made it their own. Mm-hmm. Your father with what he does, your brother with what he did, and now what he's doing through you and uh, yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. What we're doing. I wonder <laughs> who's coming next with it and what. Um, mm-hmm. Matt, you got anything for today? Like the question or anything else? I would both. Uh, yeah, I was going to ask, um, you said you like to do like a lot of animals and insects and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, what draws you to the insects? Uh, it's just like we, they're so tiny, but they're so, they're like in a world of their own. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just like watching documentaries and stuff. Like, okay, one of my favorite insects is the cockroach. The cockroach? Okay. Yeah, people are so like, oh, that's disgusting. It depends on what type of roach. Do you know like roaches? Oh, not like, not I don't. too de- not okay, too deep yeah. into it, but just like their anatomy by itself, the wings and like how the shell like all of them have wings. Mm-hmm. And from what I know of, not all of them know how to fly, but all of them have wings. Oh, yeah. Damn. All right. So um, they can fly. Yeah. yeah. They can. I I actually have a phobia. Oh. <laughs> so like if I even if I see one, it's like. Nope. Fight or flight. Oh, like I get the like shot of adrenaline and like my He will burn this races. place down if he saw a roach or Yeah. And if it's the same him. same for lobsters. I like oh. I can't Is can't even look at a lobster. Maybe? Yeah, it's well, like the shape and the shell uh-huh. and the, the weird That's... creepy crawly legs and the antenna uh-huh. and stuff. Plus you're 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 also having an allergy. Uh, yeah, coincidentally I also have an uh, allergy to shellfish. So but So you're like, no. Yeah, just, just stay away. All around. No. Yeah. It's so wild because um, I like I don't I mean what kind of, kind of beetle is it the fig beetle or yeah the, the green like the, the shiny green, green oh, fig yeah. one yeah yeah I love them and, yeah and I think we talked <laughs> talked about this before but when we were when I was little you know before the internet we used to tie them on yes. on, on strings and just let them fly like uh-huh. a kite yeah and <laughs> Matt's good. like fuck no they and they they're they're attracted to you. <laughs> yeah, I, like I don't have a fight or flight like phobic response to those. Mm-hmm. Um, I still don't like like them. I can look at it and stuff. I don't want to touch it though. Mm-hmm. And when they're when I'm outside, I don't know. It's like I always find there's always one buzzing around, and it you know it's minding its own business. Then out of nowhere, it turns around and heads straight for me. I always got to <laughs> swat at it with my hat, or my wife has to catch it, and then she she releases them like into a, a dense bush or a tree because mm-hmm. then. They just bounce around inside uh-huh. and they don't come out for a while. So it buys me time yeah. to make my escape. <laughs> yeah. I have a c- couple of dry ones. I'll show you after oh, this. You yeah, yeah. yeah, I like that. They're I pretty like dope. Stuff. Matt's like, nope, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, in terms of the question of the day, if you, if you had to leave San Diego, mm-hmm. but yeah. you could move anywhere in the world and you would be set to do whatever you want there, but... You could never leave there again. Oh, so, like, say you move somewhere and you, you can only <laughs> so, you have to stay within like fifty miles. Mm-hmm. Where would you choose to move to? Not San Diego. Right? Can't choose San Diego. Okay. Damn. Damn. Bye. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. See, the thing with me is I don't like to be in a place for so long. Like, even with work or anything, I just I can't. Mm. Ooh, that's a difficult question. And usually the ones that he has, he's in charge of difficult questions. I know. Oh, man. 
Mm. I, for me, would be somewhere with the forest. Uh, I always dreamed of going to, what do you call it? Uh, Mars wanted to go to the rainforest somewhere down in like South America. Like Yucatan or further south? Wherever. But just because of uh, when when I was younger, just learning about all the like different like um what do you call it? layers of it, yeah and the the um oh, what is the freaking word canopy yeah you know but every every the whole, you know so big mm-hmm. and each area like has its own oh part, its own like biodiversity ecosystem ecosystem and, yeah that and that to me that was interesting so. Mm. But bugs, I'm like, <laughs> and I don't, I don't mind too many bugs. Yeah. But sometimes I'm like, oh, is this one gonna bite me and I'm gonna die? But what would be your oh, place? I don't know. I think I will stay in California, just if it's not San Diego, just because there's so many. Like, if you want to go to the desert, a couple miles there. Uh-huh. I mean, forest, couple central, miles there. and just like fifty, yeah. you know, hit that fifty, that fifty mile radius. Like, oh, it's right. There. Yeah, oh, that's not bad. My mm. mind went everywhere, but I was like, no, I think California. Stay in Cali. Mm-hmm. What about you, Matt? Mm. Australia with the bugs? <laughs> no, kidding. well, you, you can't really get away from the bugs. They're <laughs> everywhere. I think they're even <clears throat> they're even in like Antarctica and stuff. Mm. At the research station, they have them. No way, dude. Um, I probably, just off the top of my head, probably somewhere like in the Caribbean. Mm. Like if I'm going to be stuck somewhere, might as well just pick a big island in the Caribbean. Yeah. Scenic, mm. weather's nice most mm-hmm. of the time. Beach, and you can go Beach, out to the ocean. Yeah. Huh? Just no submarines. Yeah, no submarines. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Too soon. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you uh, again for coming through, for your time, for your energy, and for your story. Uh, we, l- I, I really enjoyed um, the conversation. I really, really like what you do, and we hope that you continue to keep taking those lemons, making that lemonade. And to you, we toast. And yeah, thank you. We'll see you on the next one. Yep. I've actually been on a submarine. What? I've actually been you on have. a submarine. Yeah, he was in, he was a marine. Oh, but right. not in the military. It was a tourism, oh. a tourist submarine. Got it. Are you claustrophobic? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not afraid of heights. I'm not claustrophobic. I'm just afraid of bugs. I'm just afraid of bugs. The only good bug bugs. is like a dead Temple bug. Temple of Doom. <laughs> that, ten, that scene in Temple of Doom when Indiana Jones is walking through that tunnel and he's like, why is the floor moving? Oh. And you turn the light on and it's just bugs everywhere. That's my nightmare. Bugs. Nope. What if there was like an insect in there? In the submarine? Oh. One of those beetles. I'd, I'd get somebody else to kill it. Yeah. Kill that thing right now. Your wife. Yeah, Christina would do it. Christina would do it. She yeah. has done it. She's the bug killer. Spy- the weird thing is the spiders don't bother me. Mm. Yeah, creepies. I don't know, man. Creepy crawlers are... Eh. I've, I've grown a little more braver when it comes to it. Before, I was like, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs>
Damn it. It's really good. It's so warm out. So warm out. So milk was a bad choice. 